Hi everyone, it's Vacha here from RecordingStudio9.com and thanks for joining me again. In today's video, I'll be demonstrating and showing you workarounds to the limitations of the free DAW by Presonus, the Studio One version 3 Prime. I'll be demonstrating this by using my latest song that I'm just about mixing and show you how I actually achieve the final result. So let's have a quick listen to what actually sounds like by itself. Okay, so that's the roughly the song that uh, I'm mixing it. So I thought it's a great idea to pass on some of the workarounds that I'm using. In this uh, recording, I have several tracks which are the drum tracks, and they are the ones labeled in blue. So I have drum overhead, the toms, the kick drum, and a snare. So four tracks for drums, plus a percussion track. Then I have my bass guitar, and I have piano, a guitar, string, low and string high. Then I have my vocals, and melody string and melody uh, saxophone, soprano saxophone. And that's uh, pretty much all the tracks. Uh, so 13 of them is what you're hearing for the full arrangement. As I have demonstrated in the past, it's really good idea to uh, group some of the tracks which are relevant to each other into subtracks. Now, sub uh, sub buses and sub auxiliary buses is not available in Studio One Prime, though it's available at the other uh, higher versions like Artist and Professional. But uh, we can use the effects channels, as you can see here, effects one, effects, and effects channel as subgroups, and they work the same way. So, as you can see, I have my drum sub, arrangement sub, and the melody sub. If you don't know how to achieve this, I'll quickly demonstrate to you how we can actually add a sub to the bass guitar track. So basically you can right click on it, say add effects channel. And let's call this effects channel the bass sub. Okay, and then we come here, click and select bass sub. So basically what it does is this bass track is now going to this effects track, even though there's no effects at the moment, and then the effects is then going to the main output. So being subgrouped. Now, in some cases you might go, why would you want to do that? Because it's, that's an extra step, and it's probably not required because you can just adjust the volume of the bass here. That may be the case here, but in a lot of cases, and I will show you a bit later on, having the subgroup it's really great to be able to control uh, even on one track in one location. So we can come here and we can adjust the bass volume here and sub drums here, the drum sub arrangement, melody and so on, and even the vocals. Now it's probably another good idea as a demonstration. I say I add another one and this time let's call it vocal sub. Okay, so if I do decide to add background vocals or a second voice and so on, then I can direct all of them into my vocal sub and be able to adjust all the vocals, including backgrounds, overall volume in reference and comparing to the rest of the musical arrangement without going to each track and adjusting them separately. So it, now I have one, two, three, four, five subgroups. One of the other advantages of having a subgroup is automation. 
Now some of the tracks I do have automation in there. That's fine. If I want to later on want to be able to adjust the level of that track and if I have automation on it, it makes it really hard. That means you really need to go um, and adjust the automation levels because you can't really go and adjust the volume saying I want a 2 dB higher because re relative to the rest of the instrument my strings are too low or my piano is too too low. As soon as you try to adjust it, the automation will readjust itself to whatever you know automation level is. So you cannot um, really lift them up. I hope that makes sense. So I will show you what I mean. So I have some automation, I believe, at the uh, piano. As you can see, it's going up and down um, to you know relevant to where the on the track it is. So let's have a listen. As you can see, it's going up and down. It's being adjusted. There we go again. Okay, so let me see. I'll say now the piano is too low. I want it a bit higher volume. And just watch what happens once I start playing. It's readjusted again, minus 12 dB. Okay, so now we go, oh yeah, that's, that's, uh, that's the level I want. But as soon as you move back and playing back again, it will adjust to the level of, of the automation. But if we want to be able to adjust it separately, let's say I add another one and just for demonstration purposes, I say piano. Okay, and then I send that to the piano sub-channel. Now, i be able to adjust the volume using this sub-channel, including the automation, without affecting the automation variations. Okay, so I can now adjust the piano volume. No piano. Watch how as you can see having subgroups really helps with automation and being able to adjust things later on if while you're doing mixing and all the other instruments come in and as you listen through your speakers all of a sudden the piano is too low instead of going and adjusting all the automation levels in your automation track you can just add the sub and then you'll be able to adjust all of the automation levels right here another great thing with uh, subgroups is you can add more effects to the overall the grouped tracks like in this case the drums so i have a channel strip to the drums where i'm readjusting adding more compression and eq to the overall drum tracks well, I hope this was helpful for you. And if my workarounds was useful, give me the thumbs up. That way I know that it was useful for you. And uh, I'll make more videos with more workarounds, more tips and tricks and ideas using Studio One version 3 Prime. You can also subscribe to my YouTube channel. That way you'll be kept up to date with any new videos that I upload. You can also visit my website, recordingstudio9.com. And you can also become a member there. It's all free. And becoming a member will allow you to download the files of the project unplugged. So you can mix uh, the song yourself as well and then your own creation into it. And until next time, thanks for watching. Cheerio. <laughs> Yes, <laughs> and
Come on. 